Welcome in, Winning Cures Everything. It is the Monday, June 21st edition of the show. I'm Gary. I'm Chris. And goodness gracious, happy, at this point, happy belated Father's Day to all the dads out there. I know we have a lot that listen. Chris, happy Father's Day to you. Thank you, sir. I appreciate so, that. You uh, you got me a gift. That was nice. A little cameo <laughs> action. It was, I, I had never seen him on there before. For those that don't know, obviously, uh, uh, Chris... Uh, this morning woke up to a text message from me that was a video from T Bob A Bear. So yeah. <laughs> who anybody that doesn't know him from the from the LSU scene, he's on ESPN uh in Baton Rouge, ESPN Radio in Baton Rouge, and he does the uh the Hold That Podcast podcast for the Athletic. It's the LSU podcast. That's right. So very uh he's a lot of fun. He is a uh, super entertaining guy. Yes, very much big, so. And big Tiger fan. Hopefully we can get him on the show eventually. One day that would be amazing. That would be that would be fun to, to interview him. Talk you to him. have got that right. So uh, let me tell you, I, I told you I was going to tell you off camera. I'm going to tell you on the podcast. I was this close to financial ruin on, on Thursday slash Friday. Okay. So here is what happened to my weekend. Thursday... I get home and I am starting to realize mm, it's a little it's a little warmer in this house than it should be, right? I just had my outdoor downstairs air conditioning unit replaced. That was about twenty four hundred bucks about a month and a half ago, I guess, roundabout. So right yeah. before I went back to uh, to campus pretty regularly. So that was like the end of April. Went ahead and paid that, and I, I had that no problem. I'm in the best financial position of my life because I could literally just hand over $2,400 and still have money, plenty of money yeah. left over. No this is what, Gary, when you're almost 40, you should be at this yes. point. If right. you're almost 40 years old and you don't have a couple of grand for emergency purchases, we got to have a talk. Yes. You got to figure, you, you got to start making some different <laughs> life decisions. So I am, I am now in a, in a good position, right? I still had yeah. plenty left over after that. No big deal. Um, but I noticed that the house is, a little warmer than it's supposed to be. I go upstairs, you know, the sun's out, and and we don't have as many trees around anymore, so it's the sun just kind of beats on that upstairs room. And it was like 82, and the air was set on 73 up there, and I'm going, this is not the way it's supposed to be. So I call my HVAC guy, and I'm like, hey, this is what's going on. He said, okay, what is going on upstairs? And I explained my wife has left uh, the attic door open all day. She's been doing cleaning and whatnot that we're, we're doing like our summer cleaning cleaning out the attic and all that kind of mess and had left it open for hours on end right he said yeah you can't do that because you've got a really old unit i don't know what's going on with it so he calls my wife to go through a few things he calls me back he's like you may need a new unit just to let you know and he said that's for probably upstairs? yeah for upstairs okay and he said probably gonna cost about five to six grand and i said Hang on, why is the upstairs unit more than the low downstairs unit? Uh, because downstairs, all I had to do was replace the outdoor unit. With this one, that the upstairs unit is like 27 years old, something like that, and it's all patchwork, it's a piece of crap, it's whatever, but I would have to replace the coal, I would have to replace uh, the whole upstairs part, the downstairs part, everything. So you got to replace the furnace, everything? Yes, the whole okay, I got you. I've seen that upstairs unit, you're right, I know yes. what you're talking about. So, yeah. so I'm like, okay, like I had... I've got some money. I would say, would five grand, this is a very personal question, by the way, would five grand put you in financial ruin? It would not, not ruin. I was exaggerating I mean, I was say, slightly. Because if it was, we could pass a plate. We could help you on yes. that. Now, five, yes. then you and I are going to have a conversation <laughs> about, Gary, you're almost 40. If you don't have a couple of months worth of all your bills set aside, we got to figure yes. something out. Well, that's, see, that's the thing. Like, I'm set Shit aside. What happens when you own a house? Yes, I'm set aside. I, we would have been able to make it. That's that's fine, but hold on, I'm not I'm not done with that part of the story yet. Okay, All right. Friday evening, I'm already kind of like, eh, I really don't want to have to spend this money if we don't have to because I've got Disney coming up, I've got uh, a, a beach vacation coming up, like all these different things, right? That's right. So, and my daughter is a junior Fun in high stuff school that you have we, worked hard to try yes. to get to. Yes, and it's, I could. It's not like you can't cancel a trip or a vacation, exactly. but still, you've earned that shit, man. A hundred percent right, especially after this past year. So all yes. of that's going on, and then on Friday, I take my wife's van to, uh, so she needs me to go drop off some furniture at one of her friend's houses, and her boyfriend and I 
take this furniture, left the car running because it's hot as hell outside. So, right. you know, we figure we'll just take this thing upstairs. We'll come back out. And then we run over to the gas station. No big deal. We're going in to get a 12-pack of beer. So he, he's getting his beer. I'm getting my beer. And then we're going to come back to the house and hang out for a little while. Come outside to the van, and it will not crank. I just paid this van off on Thursday. And I have been making, like, massive payments. Yep. On this I've day. done the same thing. I'm so, same trying thing. to get it paid off. And so, I have paid it off two and a half years early, which is really good. Um, but I've been putting a lot into that to get the interest rate out of here. I don't want that. I just want the van. Right? Sure. So, this is the one that my wife drives all the time. Whatever. And immediately, I'm thinking, okay. So, we, we try and jump it multiple times. It will not jump start. I cannot figure out. So, it, it finally cranked. And then after about five seconds, it died. It died. So I'm thinking, okay, it's alternator, starter, say battery, something else is right. I don't know what's going on, yeah. but I just paid it off and something's up. And I call a couple of buddies, and they're like, man, it, it could be anything. You might be looking at a couple grand. And I'm going, okay, 6000 for an air conditioner, 2000 for a van that I just paid off. What the hell is going to happen next? Like, what? You know, I'm going. I've been this, saving this all this is part money. Of being an adult, a grown up, and you uh, got stuff. Yeah, yeah. It was no. it was awful. So, but then I get I get uh, I go on Saturday morning, and my wife is having a yard sale. I had to run over to the gas station early because we had to leave the van there overnight, and it's right down the street from there. It's like less than right. a mile from yeah. the house. So I run over there and hook up my my battery like portable jump starter, and I'm able to get the damn van cranked because I, I've got everything turned I'll off. Pain you. There we go. Yes. Every, I finally get it cranked uh, on like the third try and it keeps running. So I yeah. drive it back to the house and then I just leave it running That's and right. it, I leave it running for like 45 minutes and I call a couple of auto places around. They'll check it out. They'll do whatever. Take it over to Gateway over in Olive Branch, Mississippi. Mm -hmm. And about two hours later, they call me back and they tell me, hey, uh, it was a bad battery connector like the wire to the battery right. was bad and there was a bad cell in the battery which was a like easy it was fix. just a shit storm like yeah yeah so easy fix you know 250 bucks or whatever it I was about to say a couple hundred bucks yep. better than a couple grand you got that right so i got that back and then my hvac guy calls me while i'm at the uh, uh that gateway place and he says hey had an emergency call out in your area stopped by your house saw your wife uh the part to fix this is gonna cost about 130 bucks Hey, look at you. Look, you're making money. <laughs> I this said making money. Oh my God. So now it, go no, ahead. Knowing, knowing, knowing the problem with the HVAC. This is one of those grown up situations where we got to start putting oh, yeah. as much aside because it's not if it's, it's when, when. Yes. he band-aided that that problem. All right. At <laughs> some point in time, we're gonna need to replace that HVAC. Yes. So no, we we Let's have already prepared. had that on the budget. We have got a go. bucket for it in our budget to put towards that. We did not have six thousand dollars in that thing, though. We are, you know, we're working put, on that. Put some of that WCE but, money in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that that non-existent twenty bucks yes. a month or whatever. Yeah, That's no, right. we That's we do right. okay. <laughs> for those that are listening, we do fine, and we do no, appreciate we're fine. your support. We're good. But uh, but yeah, it's it, frust it's, fr it's frustrating. Oh. It's frustrating. So I have a different problem. If we're gonna bitch yeah, and moan no, about our ahead. problems for a little while before we get into some sports, it's I Father's have a different Day. problem. So <laughs> I have a brand new truck. I've never bought a brand new truck. Now I, I say brand new. I bought it in December of 2019, and it was a 2019. It was a brand new truck. I've never bought a brand new vehicle before in my life. Now I am fortunate as of uh, probably. February of last year, I paid that joker off. Right? Go. I got it paid off in like over a little over a year. Okay. Um, I don't I don't like bills if I can not have them. Basically, that, I got a house sense. note. Yeah, and that's it. Um, so very fortunate for that. Driving around, but it's 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 a work truck. I definitely take care of it. I don't know if you people know how engineer floors go down, but we use what's called a urethane glue very strong good glue oh yes oh yes um the there's a glue shortage in the country Sh long story short uh we had to buy a new glue that we've never bought before it is a german made glue very very good glue the glue's great we have no problems with the glue 
the plastic, it's a, it's an acrylic urethane. So it's not a regular urethane comes in a metal can. It's a plastic can, the plastic around this glue. Now I've been driving around for, I don't know. I've been doing this job for six years. Glue buckets sliding around the back of trucks forever. Never have one busted open in my life. The plastic around this glue is thinner than water bottle plastic. And I was driving around for one day with this one bucket in the back of my truck and it busted open. And as I'm driving down highways, it's slung all over, all over the back the of, bed of my truck. It's all over <laughs> the body. It's all over everything. Now, let me tell you, let me tell you where a little bit of good graces has fallen on me. Now, this is strictly cosmetic, but you're talking to a guy that has taken care of this thing so well. And now it looks like a piece of shit that nobody's taking care of because there's literally glue slung everywhere and it's not coming off. Now, good friends with a guy who owns a body shop. He owes me a pretty big favor. I did a shower in his house. He didn't have the money. I said, just get me when you can. Thank God he hadn't paid me yet. Cause now we're going to do a little horse trading. Hey, you're going to fix this truck. <laughs> and so he showed me how he can get it off the paint pretty easily. He's going to pay one of the guys, his body shop to try to, but the nice thing about my truck is, is the truck bed, all the parts to it bolt down. It's not like yeah. a spray liner. Um, and so he's going to, unbolt all of the liner that has the glue all over it. And he's just going to blast it all off. And he's going to take some engine paint, paint it. I said, I don't, I don't need it to look cherry. I don't need it to look brand new. Probably going to have to replace my bumper. Probably going to have to replace all the lenses for lights and stuff in the truck because those are not coming out. I mean, it's just not. Oh, that's so insane. I got a couple of thousand dollars. I'm about to drop just trying to make my truck look like not a piece of shit because today it looks like a piece of shit. I was devastated last week. I'm talking oh, yeah. in tears. First time in my life, I got something nice. And not only did I get something nice and new, but I actually paid for it like almost immediately. Yeah, and, and took care of it. And like, took care of it. And I was I was pretty upset. I'm pretty upset. So needless to say, the people that sell that glue, I went to their place. I gave them a massive cussing. <laughs> Felt better about myself after that. <laughs> Called him and apologized. I know the people that work at that poor warehouse had nothing to do with this, but the folks in Germany, I can't get on a phone. So that's the they way were, it works. You know what they told me? Because I, I asked him, I said, why in the hell are you using such cheap plastic on this? And he says, well, they're very environmentally conscious. <laughs> and so I thought, you know, we're, this is made to hold like glue that seizes up like concrete, right? Like this is not, you know, a bucket of water that you can just put cheap ass plastic in. Yeah, forget like, the we're environmental not carrying apple conscious, juice, man. Like, we're carrying like heart like if it breaks, it destroys everything it touches. Yeah. Yeah. You can't don't save care. a couple of nickels on saving plastic for this. Oh, I was, I was furious. So anyway, we both we both had mine are very much like rich middle class folk problems. All right. Yeah, and, and don't get me wrong, mine like oh, downstairs no, unit know, was man. still working. Like we blow, still had blow, another car. Get, good news for you, fine. But the scary part of yours, no, that's that's shit you gotta deal with. Oh, yeah. It sucks. Mine is just it just my truck looks like a piece of shit right now. It looks like somebody who drives a junker that does not care or take care of their stuff. And, and, that, and it's you, all it's all a perception problem. Yeah, and well, it no, really no, no, because bothers me. You it like it's it's pretty important to show up and look nice in front of new clients. Well, I, I, mean, I, sense, I have right? the fortunate enough to where I don't have a lot of new clients. I just work with builders, and every builder that sees it looks at it and is like, oh, they all know exactly what happened when they see it because they know what I do for a living, and they yeah. all have looked at it and was like, oh my god, and I was <laughs> like, yeah, I don't want to talk about it right now. Oh, uh, that is too good. Now that we've bitched about our day, happy it's Father's all good. Day. Well, we're only 14 minutes into it, but hey, we, we got to get a little dad talk out of the way, and I'm totally fine with that. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.